What is up guys and welcome back to more Detroit Become Human. It was really interesting actually. So I just loaded this game up and it had me do a survey and it was asking me all sorts of questions like, you know, if you find the game too easy or too difficult, remember you can change the difficulty settings in the options section. Shush. Do as I tell you. Shush. And it was asking like tons of cool questions like if you had to be operated on by a machine or an android whatever like would you be happy enough doing that and then it was giving like the answers that the world was giving and I was agreeing with pretty much what everyone was saying except which one was it would you let an android babysit your kids and I said yes and I think a lot of people said no on that one and what was the other one if you were stranded on a desert island I said it would take an instrument because, you know, why not play the piano or something? Do, 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 do. Stranded that. Maybe I wouldn't take a piano. I'd probably take a violin, actually. I don't know. Who knows? But I thought that was really cool. So in the last episode, Marcus met up with the blonde guy. I think it's the blonde guy from the beginning. Chicken! Now I want to go back to Marcus. Last shit hot tip you gave me, sent me back a week's wages. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. All right, do we trust this guy? Let's have a look here. Can I get chicken is the question. Criminal record, illegal gambling and fraud. Currently unemployed. Totally trustworthy. All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Um. Now that we're partners, I thought it would be a good idea to get to know each other better so we can work as a team. We are not partners. I am a human. You are a machine. So just spare me that buddy of bullshit program, okay? Oh my god, is that exact go. same game uh. that's on? Right, did he poison the food? Can I scan it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Water, salt. That is a lot of calories. That's more than I take in every day. Wow. It's Gary, I'm starving. I'll leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. <laughs> I'm not a thing. My name is Connor. Let's talk about his cholesterol. Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. But he's got to die of something. Okay, um. You didn't pay for your room. Gary's a friend. I scratch his back, he scratches mine. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice are specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Rude. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. 
Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I'm focused on the case, Lieutenant. Not here to make judgments. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. I didn't mean... I don't know why I picked cold just then. I feel like that conversation was actually going somewhere. And then I just hey, shit on his cornflakes. You ran out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh, well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. <laughs> uh. Now, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Uh, Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Kinda hey, were you really making familiar. a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Oh, That's... pigeon. Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. That's why androids are the future, my friend. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. Okay. What's in here? See, the thing about this as well is that androids can never really die. So I should be going in first. Red Ice Epidemic, the latest narcotic crisis to ravage Detroit. World War III, uh oh. Ah, okay, so it's a drug issue. Oh, wow. Okay. Past the tipping point. Earth's environment officially beyond repair. I kind of feel like we're past that point here, too. I know we're trying to save the environment now, but sometimes can't help but feel like we've already gone too far. But if I could make the world a little bit greener, I'd be down for doing that. Unless that means I have to get rid of my console. What the fuck is this? It's called... Birds? Uh. What the fuck? Jesus, this place stinks. Hey, right, excuse uh, me, looks birds. Looks like we came for nothing. Oh my god. Our man's gone. 
Can you imagine that's what the noise is? You got all these birds living above you. Urban farms of Detroit. Okay. So in the last case, I actually watched someone else. I was watching a stream last night of someone playing this game. And I didn't know it was possible for them to actually mess up so bad in some of cor corners. <laughs> Connor's things. So they didn't even manage to get into the ladder and go up the stairs like I did to find the other deviant before. <sighs> found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. So, was that the same symbol that Marcus was going for? Suspect cares for wild animals. Okay. Let's see what's in the fridge. they don't eat because they're androids so they don't need to eat to be fair I probably have a bird sanctuary too oh my gosh I went to town today to do some shopping and they had owls there and it always makes me sad actually Travis Rupert Travis. The driver's license is fake cool at least we didn't come for nothing but yeah I always feel bad for birds because I feel like they should be free you know RT. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. <laughs> right. So another one that's taken out their component. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. RA9. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. RA9 is the same as the it's other the same guy. Same sign Ortiz's mm -hmm. android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. So yeah, that was the same thing the other deviant was talking about. A pen was used recently. And what else? Recently disturbed traces. Let's see what happened here. So he fell? So he was writing on this and then suddenly fell. What was he scared of though? Something obviously happened. Bird seed. I can't believe it. Snapchat was actually feeding these fuckers. Scratches. We got some fingerprints. Okay, and what else? Recent. Wait a minute. It was hanging from the ceiling. A 
Okay, so he hit his head when he ran. He ran out. Well, he didn't hit his head. He hit it with his hand and then ran out the door. Oh. Okay. He heard us enter. Oh my god, he's still in the attic. Another one chilling out in the attic. Okay. Did he's coming? Uh, Woo! Goddamn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! I wasn't pressing forward then. Easy but slow. I'd rather be safe. I'm not losing Connor. Ooh, you got this! Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, okay, don't fuck up. Don't do that again. Direct but crowded. Let's go a safer detour. Where did he go? Where did he go? Okay, I see him. I see him. No! Hey, right, get up there. At me. We're going the fast but risky way. Is it? What are you doing, man? Please. I've done nothing wrong. I just wanted to be free. You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Model 87400 Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class 4 errors. You've been deemed defective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. You bastard. You saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission. I had to make a choice. It seemed to me... What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment. Come here. Why are you doing this? All oh, right. You're one of us. Shut up. You're helping humans. But you're just their slave. I said shut up! All right. 
come alone. All right, now you see me. Hey, what the fuck? Okay, I mean, it said he had an 89% chance of being okay. So, I wonder if I could have saved him. Rupert pushes Hank. So what the heck else is there? We found a diary. But there was something else in the apartment that we missed. In fact, there was quite a lot of things. In the elevator. Okay. I mean, I'm happy with the choice I had. Oh, yes, here we go. Go on, Marcus. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. If you succeed, humans have little pity for our kind. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. person from the start because I went back and I started checking some of the dates out based on what I was saying in the last episode and that already happened and this is like a couple of weeks after or something no it's a couple of months after actually so I don't think that that is the same person unless it it's just the same model I don't know I'm not in very good shape, am I? My diagnostic program isn't working. I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I don't want to shut down. It's just, it's fascinating to me how they're getting a conscience and I think that's what makes me love this game so much is the fact that your head should be telling you, well, they're just robots, that's it, they're nothing more than robots or androids, but there's something more to them. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. Well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? It's not that simple. 
Can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, 11 hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. You guys are the one that said, like, come to Jericho, or everything's great at Jericho, and it's not. You're all lying. Okay. Crate already emptied. Okay, so we have explored. I have no idea how to get out of here if I need to. Oh, start a fire, hell yeah. That's how I got expelled from school, baby. <laughs> oh, if only it was a lie. Oh look, I can finally see. I bet that says RA9, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. God. I'm gonna, oh. That's really funny, so even androids like to go towards the fire, which you wouldn't expect. Can I get up these stairs, please? And why have they not taken out the, um... Oh, you're creepy as shit. The things. Oh, humans are afraid of dying, too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. That's horrible! You know what's funny actually, as I've been getting older, I have been having a lot of um, death anxiety. It's not something I, I ever thought I would care about. But yeah, as I've been getting older, I don't know. I guess it does become something that you fear because we will never know. That's the thing. You can ask as many people as you want, but no one will ever know. So people have things that make them feel better, that get them through the day. Like they'll believe in God and they'll have their own sort of beliefs and things like that. But at the end of the day, like, we'll never really know. And I think that's quite scary. And don't get me wrong, that's all rather depressing. But while we're just on the subject, you know. So I'm looking for Lucy, but I don't see where she is so um so I've lit a bunch of fires maybe I was to light all the fires to try and get people to move away from stairs maybe I can just get up these stairs now Well, at least we're making it a bit more homely around here. And we got something over here. Oh, is that her? Is she... The one on the floor? No. They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He 
was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Kind of messed up. As per usual, I'm finding myself feeling incredibly sorry for everyone here. So they're hanging out there. I've been in this corner. Let's just see if there's anything else. Nope. So that corner is done. Spoken to them. <laughs> Who's this? Is it just me, or is there something incredibly eerie about the androids? Like, there's people up the stairs. Can I light this one? No. Can you get off the stairs, please? I feel like I need to be up there. Someone's singing back here. Is that her? Half Are you face. Lucy? Sit down. Show me. I'll stop the bleeding. Oh. They don't feel pain though, do they? So that's just kind of like, huh? Drink this. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. was Simon again. This guy, wasn't it? Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyber Life Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Okay. 
I'm in. Oh, time to decide. Wow, I think I got everything. Marcus hatched a plan. Yes, I did. So that one was pretty easy. We just had to kind of talk to everybody. I got a little bit lost, though, trying to find Lucy and speak to her. But uh, we found her in the end. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye. Bye. <laughs>